In this video, I'll show you the workflow for creating an animation using snapshots. This animation will show the disassembly process for the housing part. Let's enter the animation application and define a snapshot animation. The next step is to check the body definition. Components associated to the same body will move together. Notice the ground body collects all non-mechanism components. In most cases, you'll want to click one part per body and then redefine bodies as needed. If you have mechanism connections, you may get a warning that some connections have been suppressed. Note, these connections will be maintained in the standard and mechanism applications. Before we move on, we do want to edit some bodies. For example, we want certain sets of bolts to move together. Let's start reviewing the bodies. In this example, we want these two bolts to move together. I'll click Edit, hold Control to select the other component, and click OK. For these bolts in the front, instead of selecting one by one, I'll use the model tree, select the first component, hold the shift key, and select the last component. Now we can define the snapshots, which capture just component positions, not the view or camera angle. Click the drag components icon. The first tip is to create a base snapshot. I'll rename this to Assembled and click Enter. Notice if I start dragging components, they will move and translate in the 3D space. Use the right mouse button to cancel any undesired movements. Hence, the next tip, use the advanced drag options. This icon allows you to select a component and set the current coordinate system. I want to move these components in the Y direction, so I'll click the Translate in Y direction, and then select any one of the bolts, since they're all part of the same body, move them to the desired location, and then left click. I now want to take my first snapshot. I will continue moving components in that same Y direction, taking a snapshot each time. I now want to move these two bolts so I can keep the same coordinate system and translate them in the Z direction first. Once they have clearance, I'll take a snapshot and then move them in the X direction. I'll do the same on the other side, except I want to move them in the Z direction first so I can cancel and then come back in. Notice my coordinate system has reset. I can use that coordinate system or reset it. I'll just use that one. And then move them in the X direction. Finally, I can move the housing component. I want to slide it out in the Z direction first, take a snapshot, and then move it vertically in the Y direction. And I'll take my last snapshot. Now we can define the keyframe sequence. Since we're doing this as a disassembly process, I will add the assembled snapshot at time zero and then start to add each snapshot one by one. Notice Creo is incrementing the time for me automatically. We can now preview our animation. I can go into playback 
and adjust the playback speed to see things a little slower. If everything looks good, I can click the Save icon and create a video in MPEG or AVI format. If I wanted to create a assembly process animation, the next tip is to go back into the create mode. We can edit the keyframe sequence and choose reverse. That will reverse everything in the keyframe sequence and we can now see the assembly process.